Hello, Zip Sports fans, and welcome to a men's soccer matchup between the number three ranked Indiana Hoosiers and your number 16 ranked Akron Zips. This game is gonna get right into the action. In the sixth minute, off a solid cross into the box, Zips captain Daniel Strachan puts forth a solid header attempt, one that'll go just over the goal. Deeper into the first half, and a scary chance is gonna open up for the Hoosiers. Coming off with a corner kick, Zips goalie Will Myers successfully punches it to the top of the box, but a Hoosier header sends it right back into the danger zone. Luckily, they were ruled offsides. We're gonna spend a little bit of time discussing both teams and their seasons so far heading into tonight. Akron, with a record of 4-0-0, are currently feeling themselves thanks to an ongoing four-game win streak. Their last win came against then third-ranked Pittsburgh in a huge 2-1 victory. Indiana enters with a record of 3-1-0. They won their last game 1-0 against Xavier. A necessary shout-out must be given to the Zip student section, the AK Rowdies. They really showed out in the game against Pittsburgh and have ramped that up even more tonight, as evidence in the packed crowds. And the game will be scoreless going into halftime. Though close all around, Indiana does have the slight advantage in stats. Coming into the second half, things are gonna get scrappy quick. That's Victor Bezzera for Indiana and Renato Kozlarik for Akron with the mix-up. Victor Bezzera is gonna put forth a solid shot attempt for the Hoosiers, but Zips goalie Will Meyer is there for the save. Bezzera led the way with four shots for Indiana. Thanks to tonight's performance and an equally impressive one earlier against Pittsburgh, Will Meyer will be named the College Soccer News Men's National Player of the Week. Following a nice buildup, the Zips' best chance of the game is gonna come up with number 11, Will Jackson. Jackson sends a hammer of a left to the top right corner of the box, but Hoosiers goalie Roman Celentano makes a miraculous save. Indiana, however, is gonna come right on back with a strong attempt of their own. Off the corner kick, a solid header will travel just above the crossbar. Keeping up with that momentum from the corner kicks, Indiana is gonna break the tie in the 66th minute of the game. Off the corner and a header into the back of the net, that's Daniel Muni with his first goal of the year, assisted by Victor Bezzera. But that lead will not last for long. Just two minutes later, in the 68th minute, the Zips will equalize on a solid left-footed strike. That is Diogo Pachecho with the goal, his third of the year, assisted by Jason Shukaluk. The final chance of regulation will come with the Zips cross from Ryan Kingsford. Unfortunately, it's an easy save by Celentano and will end regulation tied one to one, with the stats once again similar between the two teams. The best chance of extra time is gonna come from an Indiana strike by number 11, Nick Sessick. Luckily, Meyer is there to make the save. The final chance of the game comes with a minute left off of an arcing free kick from Indiana's Spencer Glass. Meyer gets under it and makes the catch. And that'll do it for this men's soccer matchup between the Zips and the Hoosiers. I'm Max Erisee. Thank you for watching and take care.